What's up guys, today I'm showing you how to make your VB form uh, full screen. Now this is a question I've gotten quite a bit recently for some reason, but it's actually fairly simple to do. Um, so as you can see, I just have my basic form here, I just threw some stuff on it to kind of show you how this is going to work and all that kinds of stuff. So um, I put a menu strip, you can, can use a button or anything like that, basically anything that you want you can use. Uh, but as you can see, I use that there, and then I set a... Uh, a key uh, F11 to it. You can do that in the properties. And I'll be going through that here in just a minute. So if we go into the code, um, it's fairly simple. You can kind of tweak this and kind of make it work a little bit better, but I just made it work off of the text. Now you could set up multiple um, ones and visible and all that kinds of stuff, but then you can't use the same uh, key uh, like F11, which is most commonly used on Windows you actually have to use separate ones for entering and exiting full screen mode so um, I have a basic if then statement here so basically it checks what the text is so if the text equals full screen then it's going to put it in full screen mode so as you can see it's fairly simple to code um, basically all you have to do is you have to change the form border style to none then you make it the topmost so that way it goes on top of everything including the taskbar then you simply just make the window size maximum and it's then that and then you just change the text back to exit full screen so that way it, it knows that the next time that it, you know that code is ran that it doesn't run the same code and then you're just stuck in full screen mode all the time so um, one thing I definitely recommend is if you're doing this definitely add a close because um, you can use alt F4 but just make it simpler on yourself too just to make sure you have as many options as you can just in case you know something happens and you can't close it for some reason so um, now the next thing that you need to worry about is all these components on the actual form itself you know they, they're going to need to be resized and if I go ahead and run this you're going to see that only the rich text box here is going to resize and that's because I've anchored that to it as you can see it resizes no matter which way I go and even if I go into full screen mode here as you can see it resizes the whole thing there and as you can see it goes back just like that so um, it's fairly simple to make this uh, you know make these components do this I purposely left this um, but you just go to anchor and of course it drops back down here um, so you just find anchor and what I normally do is if I have something like this then you're gonna uncheck these two and put these two um, if you have it where it's gonna take up the whole entire uh, form like let's say this is like a, a notepad and you have this rich, rich text box that's taking up most of the form then you just uh, check all of them but since this is the progress bar and it's on the top what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to anchor here and we're just going to check this one over here since it's already on the top as we can see there it's also going to be docked or anchored to the left and it's also going to be anchored to the right so that way when it resizes this way and back it's going to go ahead and resize that with it and we're going to show you what that will look like now so now as you can see it's moving with it unlike it was before if you notice before it wasn't actually moving with that and if I go and go into full screen it's going to go ahead and take up the full width now so it's a very simple tutorial on how to make your form uh, full screen and visual basic go into your comments down below if there's any other types of videos you want to see and definitely look forward to a new one every Sunday